Welcome to the new Compass Go Unassemble Power Panel or UPP Configurator. This short video will show how to configure the UPP and get the correct bill of materials from out of your stock. The first step is to log into Compass Go from the Compass Go login page. Once logged in, you will see the Compass homepage. From the login screen, go to the select menu on the upper left hand side and then scroll over and select the UPP Configurator. Once you are in the UPP Configurator screen, you will see the panel has six master selections. The first is the system voltage. The UPP program has two voltages, 208 120 volt, three phase, four wire, and 480 277 volt, three phase, four wire. For this exercise, we will select the 208 120. The second selection is the system interrupt rating. This will determine the breaker selection. All UPP interiors are rated 200,000 amperes and the system rating is limited to the lowest rated breaker in the panel. For this exercise, we will select 10,000 amps for the interrupt rating. The next box allows you to name the power panel. The height selection allows you to pick the size of the panel you wish to use. The 60 and 75 inch height panels drive to a P4 panel and the 90 inch height drives you to a P5 panel. Use the 90 inch P5 panel if you have few switches over 200 amps or if you would like to dual mount 400 amp breakers. The next selection is bus material. Both temperature rated aluminum and copper bus are available. For this exercise, we will select aluminum bus. The final selection is service entrance and barrier. This selection is needed for service entrance equipment with main breakers. Underwriters Laboratory and the National Electric Code require a barrier on service entrance main breakers to prevent inadvertent contact with the line side of the main circuit breaker with cables installed. This selection will allow the configurator to call out the correct service entrance barrier. After you've configured the base panel configuration selections, click the next button to go to the main configuration screen. The configuration screen has four options for the main breaker and two for the main lug. The first selection is main breaker or main lug. If you choose main lug, you will always use the 1200 amp main amper selection that will drive the 1200 amp main lug kit. If you select main breaker, you will have more options in the following boxes. For the main breaker, you will be able to select anywhere from a 400 amp to an 800 amp frame. Select the appropriate main breaker amperage on this dropdown. The next selection is for the actual main breaker. Compass Go will select the most cost efficient breaker for the application as default. If you would like to select a different main breaker, you can hit reset and it will show all main breaker options available. This will also allow you to match the main breaker with a circuit breaker you may have in stock. Finally, the last option is trip amperage. The default selection matches the frame amperage. If you hit reset, you can select all available frame amperages for the main amper breaker. If you adjust the trip amperage, you may need to reselect breaker type. On this page, it will also show the wire range of the selected main. For this example, we will select the 1200 amp main lug option. After all selections are made, click next to go to the branch breaker screen to select the required branch breakers. Start by selecting the quantity, then the poles, followed by the trip amps, and then the breaker type. For this example, let's select two three pole 20 trip amp BL breakers, then click add. If you need to add accessories or change the breaker type, do this after the configuration is added. Once added, you can reset the breaker selection and see all of the breaker options available. For this example, we will keep the breaker selection as BL. Next, we will add one three pole 225 amp QR and then one two pole 200 amp QR. Next, we will add two three pole 200 amp FXD breakers. Once the FXDs are added, you'll notice that Centron and VL breakers have accessory options available. If you'd like to add accessories, click the accessory option next to the breaker. For example, you can select a 120 volt AC shunt trip to go with the breaker. For this example, we will not add any accessories. Finally, we'll add one three pole 400 amp JXD breaker. Once all breaker and accessory selections are complete, click Generate Components. The final bill of materials will be listed out for all of the parts needed to build your power panel, including the UPC code for each. You can also print out the bill of material to gather the parts from the warehouse or save as a PDF for later use. Now you are ready to build a power panel. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.